From his village home in Amin Date, Habako Sub County, the government chief whip Dennis Samson Obua surprised many by trekking through this narrow windy road to his former primary school, one of the most rural schools in Aleptong district. The experience is very, very humbling, but it demonstrates one fundamental fact that anything is possible. The classroom blocks you are seeing were not roofed with iron sheets. We had grass thatched houses where every Friday we would come with cow dung to smear the floor. But here we are. The visit originated from the promise made six months ago when he visited the same school and found it in ruins. The school that produced the minister was on its knees and the enrollment had dropped to less than 300. Through his intervention, the school has been rehabilitated by Tororo Cement and handed over for use. St. Paul Church of Uganda, Pami, also benefited from the social corporate responsibility. The fact beyond any doubt is that the school was bad, but we now hope that um, this environment will be able to impart uh, knowledge. We are thankful to the friends who supported him and the quality of the work they have done. Some leaders, unfortunately, who are outright greedy, they only think about themselves. But my appeal is this. We, whom God has given life and leadership role at this time, cannot afford to cheat our own people by not being available and offering the required leadership and also support that is needed. We should wake up. To Christians, it is an answered prayer, and to parents, it is the future of their children. <laughs> the school is shining, shining properly. The head teacher, Charles Okello, says the development will reduce absenteeism and gradually improve performance. Uh, we have only covered not even a half of the challenges in which the school have. Parents, <coughs> they agreed to pay 18500 per child, but you find that only 50, 50 learners have paid in a term. Mm, we didn't get anybody in first grade and we didn't get any in second grade. We started from third grade. For the last 18 years, this school has never produced any candidate in first grade, but with the new look and the commitment from parents, hope has been restored for better results. 35 candidates are set to sit for PLE this year. Ediolua, UBC News.